Scorpio, what's going on? It's your girl D here with Eighth House Energy. Here to bring you a true intentions reading for July, August 2021. Thank you to those of you who continue to come and back and forth and show love to the channel and all the support that you show. I appreciate you. Thank you so much, Scorpio. And for those of you who are new, this is Eighth House Energy. Uh, so we all have 12 charts, I mean 12 houses in our, our chart. Each house represents an area of our life. So everybody has the eighth house in their chart. The eighth house deals with sex, drugs, not sex and drugs, but it deals with sex, uh, other people's money, inheritances, wills, estates. It deals with crime. It deals with death. Uh, it deals with power and control issues uh, between you and your higher and lower self or between you and other people. It deals with the occult sciences. Okay. Um, it deals with people's hidden emotions, their hidden agendas, your hidden emotions, your hidden agendas. Okay. So basically things that are hidden that people don't want you to know about, or they don't want you to see is what goes on with the eighth house. Also psychic abilities, as well as the occult sciences, you know, so things like tarot, astrology. So we deal with a lot of that on the channel as well. Okay. So, um, Keep that in mind while you are viewing this reading, all right? So if you're used to those readers who, uh, you know, always give you hope and faith and optimism, uh, you're going to get that here, but we're going to be dealing with the raw truth of things and give you the optimism and the hope that you need to get out of these situations that may be holding you back, all right? Overall energy here is the nine of materials in reverse. Here's the card upright for those of you who like to see the artwork on the decks, all right, so the nine of materials came out in reverse. So this is Virgo energy. Uh, this is an energy of somebody who um, could be financially destitute. This could be somebody who may not have a lot of self-worth or self-value or they may not see self-worth. I mean, they may not see worth or value uh, in you or maybe you don't see worth or value in someone. <clears throat> somebody could be, like I said, somebody could be financially destitute or broke. Uh Somebody could be trying to take from someone. This could also represent somebody who is single, but they're pretending that, I mean, who's not single, but they're pretending that they are. So they could be in a relationship with someone else, or they could be married, but they're pretending to be single. Or you could be pretending to be single. <clears throat> so we have the Knight of Inspirations that came out in reverse. That's Sagittarius energy. We have the Emperor energy that came out. Okay, that's, uh, I was going to say Taurus. That's Aries energy. I can't even pick up the card. <laughs> so here's the Emperor, Aries energy. <clears throat> Excuse me, the Six of Wands or the Six of Inspiration, which is Leo. Then we have the Knight of Materials in Reverse, which is uh, Virgo. We have the Page of Voices in Reverse, which is Leo, Lib Libra. Libra. <laughs> And then we have the three of materials, which is Capricorn. So one person is you, one person is the other person. So there's one person here. Who's definitely married. <laughs> okay. You, there's somebody here who's married. Uh, they, um, they are pretending to be single. With the nine of materials in reverse here, there's an emperor energy here, a man or a woman, but the emperor is masculine energy, meaning someone is taking action, all right? So someone is actually married, uh, but with the knight of inspiration in reverse and the six of inspiration in reverse, this person is just out to uh, get whatever it is that they want. They don't see, this person doesn't see worth or value in other people. Um, this person could be trapped in a relationship that they're not happy in, whether they're married or they've just been in a long-term committed connection. Uh, for some of you, this could be that you're dealing with someone who's married or who's in a long-term committed connection with someone else and they don't see the worth or value in you except for a conquest. This could be you seeing someone as nothing more than a conquest. Then there's the other person here. Um... Let's see. How am I seeing this?
there's somebody here who uh, sees that they're being treated unfairly. And so what they're, you, or they don't see. There could be somebody who does not see that they're being treated unfairly. They, they could be somebody who is in a situation with someone that they may want a potential connection with. But this person is not going to give them that because this person does not see them as somebody that they want to be in a long term committed connection with and or marry. Or there is someone who's married to someone that they no longer want to be married with. So they are looking to come out of this connection. They could be working on, um, you know, speaking to uh, a lawyer uh, to get out of this connection. Somebody could be filing for a divorce because they no longer see this relationship as something that is worthy of their time, energy, and effort. But I do sense an energy of here of someone, of a situation being very stagnant. And with the page of voices in reverse, somebody is not understanding that this is not going to go anywhere. And they keep putting in work into a situation that is not going to go anywhere. Uh, either you're married to someone or someone is married to you and this person is cheating and they're not going to stop. <clears throat> or you're dealing with someone who is in a long-term committed connection with someone else or married to someone else and they have no intention of leaving this person. These people could actually, if, you, if you're dealing with someone who's married, who's in a long-term connection, these people could actually be working against you to try to take from you. Scorpio. Wait, let's take a look at the top five cards and then we're going to pull cards to see how this person feels about you. So this is one or the other, but we're going to see who feels what way. So the nine of materials in reverse and then the four of materials. Uh, so, yeah, this to me is somebody who is, um, they don't see, they're trying to get you. They're trying to take you for whatever they can. Uh they're lying to you. They're not being honest to you. Uh, they're not sincere. They're not trustworthy. Okay. Uh, and this person is hiding that they don't see uh, you as somebody that they want to settle down with or somebody that they want to stay in a marriage with. Um, they're lying to you about uh, what their intent is towards you. Okay. Uh, but I feel like somebody is trying to take from you. Uh, or they are hiding the fact that they don't see you as somebody that they want to settle down with, um, which is why your situation is not going any further with the Two of Wands energy in reverse. Uh, we have the Star card here and the Fool in reverse. I feel like this person, they may see you as someone who, um, they see your light. And so what they're trying to do is they're trying to put you in a position where they can take from you. Some of you could be well known uh, with the star energy here. Some of you could have a, a platform uh, or you're someone who's forward moving. You're not like the average individual. You're like a star um, and you're different from the rest. OK, or you could be, you know, wealthy and they see that you have potential. Uh, in some sort of way that they want to get a hold of. And so with the fool energy in reverse here, um, you know, this person could be trying to put you in a situation where you are compromised. Um, yeah, because with the page of cup in reverse here, as well as the fool energy, they're trying to manipulate you. Uh, for some of you, you may already know this and you may have left this situation that it's not going anywhere. But some of you could be in the midst of this situation thinking that something is going to come of it. And it is not. Yeah, some of you, there's no forward movement in this. And as a result, you know, with the fool energy in reverse, this person is just playing you for a fool. Uh, because there is not going to be any forward movement in this situation. There never was going to be. They had no intention of it. The only forward movement would have been, would have been take them taking from you or draining your energy or your money. Okay, that's what's going on here with this Scorpio. All right, so let's take a look and see what's going on. Some of you could be married to this person and their, their goal is just to take from you. Some of you are dealing with someone who's married to someone else or in a relationship with someone else and they're coming around to take from you. These people could be working together to take from you. You may want to check out the Virgo reading if that is something that resonates. The fact that you may be in a situation. Some of you may not even know it. That the person that you're dealing with is dealing with someone else and they are working to take advantage of you like this person say you're a Scorpio man you could be dealing with a woman who has a man already she could even be married to this man 
but she's dealing with you too because she sees a star like quality in you or you have money um but there's something about you that she has to have your energy and or your money and she's working along with her husband or a family member or a friend to take advantage of you or it could just be that she's working you with that three of pentacle energy that's somebody who's working someone all right, so I'm going to put out six cards here. We're going to look at exclusively, this is how this person feels about you, Scorpio. All right, this could be somebody that you uh, are no longer with. Um, I'm not going to take either one of those because I can't see which one came out first. This could be somebody that you walked away from, or it could be someone that you're involved with currently, uh, or it could be someone you walked away from and now they want to come back towards you. So you just want to know what this person's intentions are. You could be with this person right now and maybe you're feeling like something's up. You know, you, you're getting some intuitive vibes and you're trying to find out what the deal is. Messages for Scorpio. What do they need to know? Thank you. Messages for Scorpio. What do they need to know about this person's intentions? Scorpio, what do they need to know? That's one too many. One more card, please. Scorpio. Scorpio. One card only, please. Scorpio. One card only. Scorpio. <laughs> You're giving me two cards. All right, if two cards come... Okay, these two cards came out before. <sighs> I'm not going to take them, though, but I know what they are. Messages for Scorpio. One card only, please. Messages for Scorpio. The outcome. Thank you. All right. Overall energy. Seven of inspiration. This is, uh, oof. I don't like the energy I'm getting here. I feel like you have to defend yourself. Some of you may have to defend yourself uh, with the seven of inspiration here. This is Leo energy. Some of you may have to, um, you may be, uh, you may have to get a restraining order against this person. Um, I feel the energy of relentless. Like this person just keeps coming back and back and, you know, or they could have other people coming against you or you could have, a, let's see what this is. Okay. Cause I don't like that energy. I don't like what I'm getting with that. I don't like what I'm feeling. All right, um, so we have the 10 of inspirations here. That is uh, Sagittarius energy. We have the 10 of materials in reverse. That's um, Virgo. We have the 7 of materials, Taurus. We have the queen of materials in reverse, Capricorn. Major arcana of the Empress, Venus. And then we have the four of voices in reverse, Libra. So, how this person feels about you, Scorpio. The last time you and this person communicated or spoke, or the energy between you two the last time you, you spoke, it was the um, energy of um, trying to make something work. Putting it, something that it was just too much. It was too much stress. It you, you know you tried repeatedly to make something work, um, or this person may feel like they tried repeatedly to make something work and it just didn't happen. Um, and it's it's to the point now where it's like maybe it did with the with the ten of inspiration upright. Maybe this person feels like they're finally getting what it is that they're supposed to get. But I feel like there was apprehension all along. You know, uh, with the seven, like this person was fighting this person all the way. You know, there's like a battle going on here is what I'm feeling. That's why I said I don't like that energy. I feel like you're defending yourself. Um, you know, this person comes towards you for whatever reason. And then, you know, you battle them off or you tell them to get lost. And then they come back again. You tell them to get lost. They come back again. You tell them to get lost. It's like this person won't take no for an answer is what I'm feeling. That's for some of you, or you won't take no. But how this person feels about you overall is the 10 of materials in reverse. So this is, um, materials are pentacles. 
all right material things that's what the pentacles represent so with the ten of pentacles in reverse here to see how this person feels about you overall um they could see you as somebody that they want to take uh advantage of financially they could see you as somebody that they don't feel like they could look at you as if you're not worth anything or maybe you don't deserve what you have some of you may be doing well and they feel like you don't deserve it and so they're doing whatever they can to take it from you whether it's your money or the light that you have because remember we saw that star energy so it could be this light that you have this energy that you have this vibe that you have and they want to steal it because they don't feel that you deserve it it's something that they look at and they will want for themselves and they don't feel like you deserve it i'm also getting like on a on a you know outside the 3d realm it's like this person is they see your light it's like looking at an infrared and you can look at everybody with the infrared glasses on, right? You're in the dark, right? And you put the infrared glasses on and you can see everybody walking around. Everybody else has got orangish and reddish energy. Your energy is like a bright ass pink, like a bright ass fuchsia. And this person can see that about you. And so they're coming towards you to try to take from you. So this person, I feel like there's a battle going on between you and this person back and forth, back and forth with this person trying to steal your energy. You know, trying to steal your energy, your power. Yeah, this person was sent to you. This is this is divine. Uh, you know, this could be a twin or it could be a uh, karmic. But it's, it's karmic either way. This person is a karmic either way, but they could be a twin. Okay? Because uh, the energy I'm feeling is very, like, relentless. Like, I feel like nonstop. Like, it's this person's job. Like, they were sent to come to They were sent to come for you. And you have to defeat this energy. How they feel about you deep down is the seven of materials. So, with the seven of materials, this is an energy of... I feel like this person is trying to size you up, Scorpio. They're trying to figure you out. They're trying to work you. That's what I felt with that three of pentacles that came out in the first spread. They were trying to work you because the three of pentacles came out and then next to it with the page of swords reversed. You may not have had any clue about this. And then the card that came out after that, oh, what was it? It just was in my head and it slipped. Oh, shit. I forgot. But I felt like I felt the energy when I was looking at those cards. Immediately, I felt like this person was trying to take advantage of you. They were trying to steal. Like, they looked at you as if you didn't know your worth and you didn't know your value. So why should you have it? I'm going to take it from you. Or you don't deserve it. I'm going to take this light from you. I'm going to take this money from you. I'm going to drain you of your energy. This person was sent. This is in your contract. This person is in your contract to come for you and take from you. If they're not in your contract, then they're, um, you know, you have people who come at you in the 3D realm and in the spiritual realm. This is um, a spirit coming at you to, to try to steal your light because you have a star energy to you. Um Especially if you're, uh, what is it? Is it Scorpio Ascendant or Scorpio Sun Sign? You have Aquarius in your fourth house. Um, and I feel like this person sees that light in you because you know the fourth house deals with the inner you as well, right? Not only the home that you grew up in, but the home inside your body, your spirit, your soul. And, you know, with Aquarius there, you have this inner light. Like you vibrate this, that bright pink fuchsia light is what I'm talking about. You vibrate that. They see that in you. They may have already been intimate with you and had a taste of that. All right. And they want more of it. So they could have somebody else working with them because what happens is they get a taste of your energy and then they give it, they're sleeping with someone else and they end up giving this energy to this other person. And so now these two people could be working together against you to get your energy, to get your light. Now, the mutual energy between you two is the queen of material in reverse. Aha. They're trying to drain your ass, okay? Because the queen of material in reverse represents people's emotions and feelings, all right? Um, and the queen of material in reverse is an energy of someone who is just being used. She is somebody who's just being taken advantage of. Just, she's very generous, very kind, very giving, and these people see her like 
they're like energy vampires and they just suck onto her. Now, if this is not about energy, because we're dealing with a lot of pentacles, we got the ten of pentacles, the seven of pentacles, and the queen of pentacles here. Uh, and the Empress energy. So we got a lot of earth and pentacle energy here. So these people are trying to steal your light. They're trying to steal your money. They're trying to steal your energy. Okay? So the mutual energy between you two is this queen of material in reverse. They want to drain you of it. All right? And you may not know your value or worth. Or you may not know that this is their intent. Because with the page of... Page of Swords that came out in reverse, I feel like some of you don't realize who you are. You don't realize that light that's in you that everybody else can see. These people see that you're about to come up because you come up as the Empress energy or, you know, even Emperor, Empress, it doesn't matter, male or female. This is the emotion inside you, the feeling inside you, okay? So the Empress represents your emotions, your feelings, your thoughts. So this person sees that light coming from you, all right? And they want it. So, we have two feminine energies here. We have the Empress in reverse. I'm sorry, the Empress upright, which I feel like is you. And then we have that third party, which is the other person that they're dealing with. So, like I said, for some of you, they got somebody in cahoots working with them to drain your energy, to drain your light. So, for example, you could be a Scorpio uh, woman. And you were dealing with someone and you may have been dealing with this person for a long time wanting a relationship. So you might have been fighting for a relationship, you know, to be with this person. And this person has been fighting you with the seven of wands because they don't want a relationship. So it's to the point where you've been fighting more than they have. OK, because you're the ten of, of pentacles. I mean, the ten of wands and they're the seven of wands fighting you off like, nah, <laughs> I only want you for what I want you for. I don't want nothing serious with you. I just want what I want from you. Um, and you may have been fighting for this connection for a long time. Some of you may even have children with this person. Okay. Um, or for some of you, they're trying to get children from you. They're trying to get pregnant by you or impregnate you. All right. Anything to get their energy to merge with yours. And so, you know, for the Scorpio woman, this man, you've been trying to get him to be with you, but he's with somebody else. Okay. The queen of uh, materials in reverse. He's with somebody else. Uh, and he's draining you of your light and giving it to this woman and or draining you trying to take your money from you. Because, again, we got a lot of pentacles here and some of you could be well off. You know, you do what it is that you do is very unique and it's only something you could do. And so as a result, you could be making money from it. And um, this person is trying to steal this from you. This person that is it could also be that the man has a woman who knows who you are and she's jealous of you. All right. And so she um, is trying to steal your shine and dull you in some way, shape or form. This is this is deep. External factors that would keep you two from working things out or from, from this person accomplishing their goal, basically, is you realizing who you are. Realizing what they're coming for and stop dealing with peasants and stay in your empress or emperor energy. Six to eight weeks from now, if you continue dealing with this person, what will happen? We got the four of swords in reverse. You would not be at peace. This person, you would not be at peace. Okay? At all. You know, you would be mentally, you would not be able to sleep. You will not be at rest. You will not be able to rest. And for some of you, I feel like this person won't be able to rest until they, you know, they take whatever they can take from you. This is craziness right here. So we get the seven of wands, seven of inspiration and the four of pentacles. Like I said, you're, um, you are, uh, guarding yourself against this person. You're fighting this person. Okay. Because they're trying to drain you sexually with the, the queen of wand energy in reverse. This is somebody who's jealous of you, who's envious of you, who wants what you have. And you put them, you put a stop to it with the two of wands in reverse. And so now this person is trying to figure out how to work you, how to get what they can get from you. Uh, because with the Ten of Swords, they want to take advantage of you. They want what they they want to betray you in some way, shape, or form. Um, yeah, they want to play games with you. They're dealing with someone else. Um, they're gonna come to you as if they want a relationship with you, but that's just strategy with the Five of Swords. Because with the Queen of Voices in Reverse and the Queen of Emotion in Reverse, you're dealing with um, somebody who is jealous of you, who's envious of you. Who can't stand you. They want to be you. The Ace of Wands in reverse. And the only way for them to get what they can get from you is to uh, 
drain you sexually. There could be some um, spell work going on too. Okay, um, what I'm seeing here. But yeah, you're dealing with someone who sees your light and sees your shine and sees who you are uh, and knows who you are, the energy, and they're trying to steal it from you. And if it's not that, for most of you, that's what it is. For others of you, you're just well-known. You, you could be famous. You could um, have a public platform with the star energy. You could have followers. All right, you're like a star energy. People follow you. Uh, people admire you. And this person sees that and they're jealous and envious and they want to take from you. All right. So, um, and they got a counterpart because we got the three of pentacles here. So they working with somebody they could be, it's their partner they working with, or for some of you, it could be family members. Okay. Cause we got the 10 of materials in reverse. So that could be family members and the 10 of cups is here as well. So for some of you, it could be family members and this could be a mother figure. Okay. So some of you, it could be your mother who could be jealous or envious of you or a father figure who's jealous and envious of you or an aunt or an uncle. Okay, it doesn't just have to be a lover, but I feel like for some of you, it's family members who are working against you as well. All right, and these people, um, you know, they can't, they know who you are. They see the light in you, and they're trying to take from you. So what we're going to do is we're going to clarify in the extended what this is all about. I'm going to pull like three cards for each of these and go into this. So if this is something that resonates with you, feel free to click the like button. If you want to leave a comment on how it resonates, it could resonate with you or somebody you know. It doesn't necessarily have to be you, Scorpio. Uh, leave a comment if you would like on how it resonates with you or someone else. If this doesn't resonate, you know, uh, check the other placements for this style of reading. And if this style of reading doesn't resonate at all, then check the other styles of reading that are on the, um, the uh, uh, channel. Uh, you should see four of them on the screen right now coming up, four different styles of reading for your sign. You can check any of them out. Uh, the extended to the link, well, the link to the extended, I said that backwards, is in the box below. Feel free to follow me there. If not, I'll see you in the next reading. Bye, Scorp.